Praise the Lord, my friends. Welcome to today's broadcast, the Power of Faith broadcast. I am your host, Bishop Charles S. Waters, and I'm so glad that you tuned in on today. Listen, God has a word for you. Say that one more time. God has a word for you, for your situation, for whatever it is that you're going through. Maybe you're watching me right now, and you, uh, uh, you may say, well, Bishop, you have no idea. I'm going to do so many things. I want you to know that God has a word for you. One word from God can change everything about you, can change your entire world. One word, one simple word from God can do that. I want you to come. I'm standing in the foyer here of the New Generation Ministries right here at the Metroplex uh, 3501 Brims Lane. That's 3501 Brims Lane. That's Baltimore, Maryland in 21213. Again, that's the zip code 13, this is right where we are, New Generation Ministries, and we want you to be a part. Now, a couple of great things that I Number have. one, uh, we have the Dr. Charles S. Waters School of Ministry. Again, that's the Dr. Charles S. Waters School of Ministry. Yes, I know you may say, well, aren't you Dr. Charles S. Waters? I am. But the school is not about me. It's about leaving a legacy for this generation. And we want you to be a part of this School of the Spirit a school of excellence where we are nose diving into the word of God. And we are really giving God an opportunity to pour into us in reference to his word, his will, and understanding deep theology, exactly what the Bible is talking about. So I encourage you, pick up your phone, call us, 410-483-6199. Again, that's 410-483-6199. 699. I want you to be a part of this, and I'm telling you, God gets the glory out of everything we do, but you will be educated beyond your wildest imagination. So register today. Be a part of the ministry every Sunday morning at 11 a.m., a powerful Sunday morning worship experience. Every Tuesday night, Kingdom Building Bible Study at 7 p.m., and then every Thursday night, Thursday night fire, where God literally takes his hands, put it on us, and tells the Holy Ghost just to fall upon us. And so be with us. I'm going to take you into a live series right here in our church. And I just want you to see how the power of God moves. And how since we are a word of faith ministries. Where we believe that faith without works is dead. But we believe that with faith and through God all things are possible. Watch what happens in this service. Amen. So. The, the, I believe that the body of Christ is growing. I believe this is the purpose of why we're here. How many say amen? amen. And, amen. And, and I know that if God be for us, who can be against us? No one. Amen, church? Amen. 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 So keep that in prayer. Isaiah chapter 41. Amen. Are you there? Isaiah chapter 41. And uh, I want us, uh, us to read, read, and we're going to stand for the reading of God's word as you enjoy. Praise the Lord. One of my readers, whoever so will. Uh, to want to do this tonight, Isaiah 41, uh, starting at verse 14. How many say amen? Amen. Starting at verse 14 of Isaiah 41, 14, and uh, we'll be looking at verses 14 through 20. But it's some key things I want you to see in here that's going to really be a blessing to you. How many say amen? amen. Isaiah chapter 14, 41. Verse 14. If you have say amen. 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 Go ahead. We'll be at. Starting at verse 14. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy right redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, uh -huh. ha having teeth. Yeah. Thou shalt thresh the, the mountains uh -huh. and beat them small, and shalt make the hills of chaff. Yeah. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice 
in the Lord, and thou shalt glory in the holy of the a holy one of Israel. Uh -huh. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, uh -huh. I the Lord will hear them. Yeah. I the God of Israel will not forsake them. Yeah. I will open rivers and high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water yeah. and the dry land springs of water. Yeah. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and in the shitteth tree. Uh -huh. And the myrtle of the oil tree, I will set in the desert the fir, the fir tree uh -huh. and the pine and the box tree together, yeah. that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this, yeah. and the Holy One of Israel created it. So, Produce. That's it. Somebody say amen. 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 Bring that mic with you. Amen. Bring that mic with you. I, I want y'all to look at verse 14. Uh, verse 14, you may be seated. Thank God for the reading of God's word. Amen. Verse 14, amen. It's, what's the first two words that says in verse 14? Fear not. Come on, say it louder. Fear not. Fear not. That's what it says, right? Amen. It says, fear not, thou warm Jacob, okay? And ye men of Israel, I will help thee. That's what it says, right? Yeah. Saith the Lord. Amen. I want to preach on a topic entitled, The Promise Through Faith. Promise the promise through faith. If you want to label your paper, you can label it the promise through faith. And it, it, it kind of inspired me. Uh, you all can figure that one out, right? <laughs> Sister Maria kind of inspired me through her testimony on Tuesday night. How many is living a life through faith right now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, don't, don't, don't be ashamed of it. I mean, I'm living right now through the eyeballs of faith. All right. Meaning everything I do, everything I see, everything I want to put my hands to do, I'm doing it through faith. Yes. Okay, the Bible says, through faith the, the, the world was made. Yes. You know, by faith, uh, God spoke into darkness and commanded light to exist. Yes. And light did not ask for permission. Light just came to be. True. Amen. 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 So the Bible says, fear not thou, thou, um, uh, Warm Jacob and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, okay, saith the Lord. Yes. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, what does behold mean, church? Come on, what does it mean, church? Stop looking, listen. Stop looking, listen. I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Meaning he's going to change even not just your identity, but how you operate upon the earth realm. Y'all got it? Amen. It says, uh, thou shalt thresh the mountains. Y'all yes. with me? Yes. And beat them small. Yes. And shalt make the hills as a chaff. That means those things that are hindering you right. and stopping you from becoming who God created you to be. You, not just God, but you in this season will be able to beat those things into a pulp of non-existence. Amen. Meaning that God says, I've given you enough faith and enough power to command your mountain to be dismissed. Yes. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, dismantle your mountain. Dismantle your mountain. Tell them again, dismantle your mountain. Dismantle your mountain. And so God says, this mountain or mountains that are standing in front of you are there because you have not yet spoke to the mountain and told it to remove itself. Amen. The mountain is not going to remove itself without your command. True. So your command, your mouth has an assignment. Yes. Amen. Come on, your mouth has an assignment. Yes. And your assignment is to speak to the mountain and command the mountain to get out of your way. Yeah. Because in 2013, you can't have no more mountains stopping you from becoming who God destined you to become. Yeah. Lord, I wish I had a church right there. Yeah. Somebody shout amen to that. Amen. amen. Come on, shout amen to that. Amen. It says, thou shalt, in verse 16, thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away. That means that this issue that you're having Watch this. It's only an issue because you show that thing attention. Right. That's right. Stop showing your problems attention. Amen. Let me change that. Stop giving your problems attention. Right. 
Because the more you give your issues and problems attention, the more those things begin to be larger. Sure. So now your, your bad is so outweighing your good because you always give him bad its props. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Instead of saying, you know what? Bad can't get out of here. Yeah. And, 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 and bad does not no longer have residency in my life. That, that's, why, that, that's why I love when people say I can do bad all by myself. Myself. Because I don't need bad to help me do bad. Right. True. Right. <laughs> Sound pretty, huh? Yeah, it's true. I don't, I, don't, I don't need nobody to teach me how to do wrong. It's in your nature as a human being to understand good versus evil. Amen. How, how, many, say, how many say amen to that? Amen. And so he says that your issues are so light, you could be able, you should be able in this time in your growth in maturity in Christ to wave it away out of your possessions, out of your way. You can just look at the thing and say, you know what, I'm not dealing with this another day in my life. That's right, get rid of it. And literally don't deal with it. Right. The problem with us is we like dealing with the issue because we always like to put ourselves in a box of being tormented. But God says, I didn't come to make you or to get you tormented. I come that you may have life. Life without torments. Life without limits. Yes. So your neighbor said, they can take the limits off. Take the limits off. Am I helping anybody tonight? Yes. So the Bible says, that you should be able to blow your mountains totally away from you. Yes. Okay, are you hear me? And when you blow your mountains, stop asking people to check and see if it's gone. All right. <laughs> you will automatically know if the mountains are gone by how you live each and every day of your life. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Watch this. It's not good for you to dwell in a mountaintop. <laughs> no, it's not. It's right. The mountaintop. Right. You have to go around the mountain in order for people to see, to do a research and study of how mountains are created. You got to first go from, start from the valley. Yes. Amen. Y'all gonna miss this point right here. You gonna have, you gotta start from the valley, look at the valley, find out how the waters help shape the rock to become this huge mountain. Amen. Because mountains don't come overnight. Amen. Ooh. Ooh. These issues that are mountains in your life did not just show up yesterday. That's right. This has been an on ongoing occurrence happening in your life. It's just that it keeps getting bigger because what's watering the rocks to make them come together is the attention that you feed it each and every day. Amen. So if you keep feeding negativity, that's the only thing you're going to live by is negativity. Yes, sir. Don't be quiet now. Tell your neighbors they need to be quiet now. Don't be quiet now. Don't be quiet now. Don't, don't, don't act like you're so stunned now. The Bible says in verse 17, when the poor and needed. Go ahead. Read, read that. What is that? What is that? Read, read that. Y'all with me? Verse 17. The poor and needy seek water. Seek water. But there is none. And there is none. Their tongues fail for the thirst. Their tongues fail for the thirst. Okay. I, the Lord, will hear them. Wait a minute. I'm going to hear them. Go ahead. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. In other words, when you are in the valley and you're looking for encouragement and you're looking for a way out of the valley, God says, "I listen, I know you may think I'm not paying you no mind, but I'm actually looking at your situation because I'm waiting for you to command the mountain to disappear. And the moment you say disappear is the moment I have to come back and release you and I'll start talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. I know that in the valley, sometimes it's quiet. Yes. Oh, you don't got to preach to me about the valley. Some of y'all say that right now. He ain't got to talk about the valley. I'm in the valley right now. Well, I just got, how many just got out of a valley? Come on. Amen. Come on how many just got, I'm, I'm talking about fresh out of a valley. Amen. And, and I'm talking about to the point where you could, you didn't know where you was going in the valley. I didn't know my left foot, my right. I didn't know what I was. I was so tripping. I was tripping in the valley. I was so accustomed to the valley, I lived by the valley rules. Right. Yeah, yeah. So when it got dark, I got darker. Yeah. It never had a good moment. So I had to force myself to praise in the valley. Right. 
That, okay, okay, okay. When you are going through in the valley, you have to learn how to praise while you're in the valley so that you can come out of the valley in an unexpected time and not according to the time the devil said you're going to come out. That's right. I'm not dwelling in a year in a place where, watch this, where the enemy is getting the joy off of my suffering. Yeah. Right. Amen. Oh, wow. Y'all quiet now. Take it in, don't get quiet, don't get quiet. Don't get quiet. quiet. So, so, so the Bible says, watch this, when, when the poor and needy seek water and there is none, that's what it says, right? Amen. And your tongue is looking for, for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Then 18 says, I will open rivers in high places. Oh, uh, y'all better watch this. Yes. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. You got to redefine what wilderness is. Dry land. Dry land. Yes. No life, dirt, heat, pressure, everything of, that, that goes according to the survival of mankind. No food. No, there's nothing in, in the desert. Amen. But your God just said, when you talk to him, he will hear you. And not only will he hear you, he'll turn your desert into a pool. That means that... Watch this. While the enemy thought it was going to be your calamity, it's going to be set up for your blessing. Yes, sir. Turn it around. It reminds me of a story. I wish I could get this tonight. It reminds me of a story of Daniel in the lion's den. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, how many have heard that story? Amen. I don't think anybody in the world has heard this story. Daniel said, I'm not, I'm not bowing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You're not going to get me to bow. It's, I'm just not doing it. I know everybody else doing it right. because everybody else, nobody want to step out and believe the God. See, they, they praise God behind the scenes, right. but they don't praise him in front of the king. Right. Amen. Uh, right. They shout in front of the saints, but they can't shout in front of the sinner. Oh, All right. right. You speak in tongue in front of the people in church, but you don't speak that same tongue in your living room. Right. Oh, y'all quiet now. Right. So the king said, okay, so I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm going to put you in a place where there's no escape from this. So he takes Samuel. He says, throw him in the lion's sand. They haven't ate in a couple of months. And this little bony frame of a man will be the best filet mignon. Human filet mignon they ever had in their whole life. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. But one thing the king forgot about is this. The king forgot Genesis 128. That God has given us dominion over every living thing upon the earth. Amen. Oh, all right. right. Meaning you gonna you can pick me with the animal, but the animal still gotta obey me. Yes. That's right. Because he said, according to scripture, that everything that flies, everything under the ocean, everything that crawls on the ground, got to obey my voice. Right, right. Because God has given you dominion over everything in the earth realm. Amen. Amen. What am I saying, church? I'm trying to tell you that you have dominion over everything except for heaven. All right. Amen. Amen. Oh, my and the mountains are here under your control, not for your demise. Amen. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The mountains were created for you to exercise your faith. Yes, yeah. yes. Have you ever heard of a team, an elite team, called the Navy SEALs? Yes. Anybody ever heard of Navy SEALs? Amen. The Navy SEALs are not a tactical group of people who go out on missions every day. True. They only come around when there is a strategic assignment that the average military person cannot handle. Amen. 
So when it comes to something secret service, something that's undercover, they can't make noise about. They have an oath. They can't even tell their husband or wives about the job that they're currently on. Amen. There's something called the CIA. You can tell your, 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 your people who you work for, for as a government, but you can never tell them their, uh, them your assignment. True. There's something called the NSA, uh, National Security Agency, where you can tell people, yes, I work for the NSA, but they are under oath. They can never tell you exactly what they do for a living True. in the NSA. Amen. But watch this. The Navy SEALs may only get called out once a year for one assignment. Yes. But every month or every so often, the, the, the captain of that particular battalion put them through an obstacle course right, right. so that they can make sure that in a time of trouble, they are able to handle, watch this, being incognito under the ground, under the dirt. Watch this, be, they have uh, uniforms that, that look like trees so you can be right. standing right bes beside them and they can be hiding the whole time. You don't even know that's not a real tree. That is an individual hiding, being camouflaged. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Your mountain is a part of your obstacle course. Right, right, right. True. Mm -hmm. And God says, this is how you get close to me. You exercise your faith every day and tell that mountain to move. And it has no, uh, it, God don't hear what I'm saying. It has no other thing to do but do what you say do. Yeah. I, can I tell a personal testimony? Can I share a personal testimony? I'm not to keep you all night. Let me share this personal testimony. I'm learning now to live my life according to the dominion that I have. <laughs> Can I say it one more time? I'm learning how to live my life according to the dominion that I have. Okay. I'll say it one more time. I'm learning how to live my life according to the dominion that God has given me, that I already have. Yeah. When you were born, when you were born, you are already born with a certain level of dominion. Amen. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. And with this dominion, God says, I'm going to unlock the keys of your freedom according to your faith. Yes. But your faith is in your dominion. Amen. Oh, my God. Amen. So that means whatever negative is happening in your life is only happening because you failed to speak to it. True. Y'all quiet. Y'all quiet. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, speak to your mountain. Speak to your mountain. Come on, tell them again. Speak to your mountain. Speak to your mountain. Come on, tell them one more time. Speak to your mountain. Speak to your mountain. To your mountain. To your mountain. To your mountain. So, so, so God says, I'm trying to get you to understand how faith works. All right. Are y'all hearing me? Tell me my couple of this. So you, you lost me. He says, he says, um, in, in this season, your, your mountain is a part of your obstacle. Yes. But the devil never made the obstacle course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he didn't make it? He didn't make it. He just sits on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he sits on it. His job is to sit in different areas on the course. Right. To see if you're going to get off course. And if you can jump off course, then watch this. He got you exactly where he wants you. All right. And so the enemy may not attack you on Monday, but he'll wait for you on Thursday. Yes, sir. Okay. He may not get to you on Friday, but you better believe he's waiting on Saturday night. Amen. And he camouflages himself behind whatever that mountain's job is to do, whether it be male, female, watch this, whether it be a job, employment, whatever it is, he's going to camouflage himself behind the scenes. Yes, sir. Uh, are y'all with me tonight? Amen. Amen. Isaiah 41, it, it deals with the promises God has given to the believers, Israel. Okay? And it says, while they were yet in the time of the wilderness. But write this down. For every negative, there are multiple positives. For every one negative, there are a multiple positive. Yes, sir. 
So every time a door is shut, there's one door that's shutting, but there's four more doors that's opening. Amen. Because then the one door, it looked like it has what you need, but once you go through that door, prematurely you'll fall back worse than what you were before you even walked through the door. That's why some, some doors are meant for you to go into. Yes. Oh, my God. Bob. I wish I could preach it like I feel it. Some, some, some places aren't meant for you to go. Some places, oh, y'all not hear what I'm saying. Some relationships aren't meant for you to have. Yes. Okay, yeah. And I'm not just talking about boyfriend and girlfriend stuff. I'm talking about friendship too. Yes, sir. Y'all quiet, man. Amen. Right. Everybody that smiled on me, that's a friend. True. Right. <laughs> have, you, have you ever found yourself befriending somebody who had a nasty attitude but kept a smile on their face? Oh, my Lord. Yes, sir. Laughing, but it's a, I call it a satanic laugh. Yeah, nice, nasty. Sinister's laugh. <laughs> but because you know that laugh is always up to something. Right. Oh, yeah, okay, I guess it's just me. me God is a part, watch this. God is in the process of changing places. If y'all remember, we dealt with this on uh, Tuesday. We dealt with this on Sunday, as a matter of fact. God is in the process of changing places when dealing with the world and the church. Amen. He's, he's changing places. What, what I believe, what God is doing, God, I, I said I was going to try to hold on to Sunday, but can I just share it now, please? Yeah, please. Now I'm about to yeah, Give a sample. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sample. I'm going to share it. <laughs> I believe that the body of Christ, are you with me? Yes. Amen. Can change positions when we start believing that God has more for us in store. Yeah. I like it. And stop doubting who we are in him. Amen. Oh my. Y all, y all it's more for us than what you see right now. But God says it's not until you change positions and, and follow who I am. That is when you do that, that's when everything that your heart desires comes to be it comes to pass. When you really understand that there's greater seed that there was scripture. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, the lender and not the borrower. Yeah. God says when you get your mindset there, that's when I'm going to open up doors for you. But until you get there and leave doubt alone and stop being afraid of what other people think you should do in your life. Yeah. Uh oh, okay, okay, now, 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 because. We're living in somebody else's shadows uh -oh. because we're afraid of what we see in the mirror. Yeah. My Lord. But what we see in the mirror, mirror is better than what we see in a person's shadow. Amen. Because somebody else's shadow has blemishes. It's body. Yeah, it's not for you. That's not you. Amen. That, that, what, what you are, what you see. Yes. <laughs> you ever heard somebody say what you see is what you get? Yeah. It's what you get. That's right. God, God said, that's how you are in the season. Y'all ready for this? Yes. The greatest mystery about God is he, watch this, he is open to blessing his people. Y'all hear me? By rewarding them openly yes. so that the world can know that he is God. Watch this. And by his hands and your faith, all this was created. Yes. So as you grow in God, you cannot give your neighbor the credit because your neighbor ain't never do nothing for you. That's right. That's right. I don't give nobody credit for God. That's right. My neighbor ain't give me no money to, to, to pay my bills. I don't even give myself. God did. Yeah. My neighbor didn't put food on my table. All right. God did. My neighbor never gave me a a, a, a piece of their blood and, and say that this is a righteous blood of, of Christ. God gave his son yes. to, to die for us for the remission of sin so that we can be forgiven and move forward. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. When God begins to bless you, you got to give God the credit and not everybody else. Yes. I don't care how many people ever stroke your ego. Yes. Never give them the credit. Always give God the glory for it. Yeah. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. He says, he says, I, I will open up the, 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 the rivers and I will make a pool in the middle of dry land. But like verse 20, it says uh, that they may see and know and consider. Consider. Mm. Consider. See, you ain't been blessed as much in your life until God got in your life. Right. right. That's right. Oh, ain't nobody saying right. nothing to me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you ain't been blessed until God got in your life. 
Amen. Come on, tell me again, you ain't been blessed so God got in your life. So God, God watch this. He, he wants you to, he want you to have them rethink their whole walk. Yes. That's awesome. I know for a matter of, for, without a shadow of a doubt, that all of us would not have been in church tonight had it not been for God revealing himself to us who he is and why we are here. Because if it was our way, we'd be in somebody's club, we'd be in somebody's happy hour, we'd be in somebody's say not to me. How are you going to talk to right Yes. Here? It's not about, I, I want y'all to, to consider this tonight. Consider this because I'm, I'm preaching, but I want you not just to hear me. I want you to get me. I want right. you to get it in your mind that you are more than what you see in the mirror. Amen. And until you realize that, you will always be stuck in an identity crisis. My, my, my. Mm. Because the mountains has overtaken your identity. Because the only thing you can see is mountains and you can't even see yourself. True. When you look in the mirror, would you see mountains or do you see the new you? <laughs> because the new you is somewhere in that mountain. Yeah. But God says, I need you to understand who I am. God is in the season of changing uh, the, 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 the magnitude of blessings. Okay? okay? Can I go there a little bit more deeper? Yes. The higher the world seems to grow, the more God is going to produce. Amen. So when the average Joe seems to be getting blessed and they don't have Christ in their life, what God's going to do, he's going to bless the believer ten times more than the average Joe. Thank you, Jesus. Because he wants the people that don't worship or believe him to see with their own eyes that that person did not make this happen. It took a God to create that world. Yes. yes. I'm telling you, you can live a life of pure freedom and happiness. If you just have faith and believe and stop listening to doubters. Amen. I, I'm so fed up in this season with people who are doubting God. Mm -hmm. We believe him when everything's going good. Right, right. right. But when, when, when John going real good, we believe him. When stuff go bad, we can't stand him. Yep. When we don't know what's happening, we just don't deal with him. Yep. <laughs> we don't pray like we ought to. I told first lady there, I went to go get some gas. Okay. We're gonna get some gas in my car. I went to the mobile, the, the, the mobile uh, 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 gas station, and so the lady who is a, a Muslim, when I walked in the store, I can hear the 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 recording. Uh, I don't know if it was a tape or a CD or something, but I heard somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you ever heard a yeah, Muslim yeah. pray, yes. but they 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 pray yes. like that. It's yeah. Yeah, 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 all that. And and so she's rocking back and forth mm -hmm. behind the counter, and she's taking everybody's stuff. She's rocking back and forth. I had to ask her because I'm just curious to know because I'm trying to find out their mission and why is it that that that, that seems to be uh, a lack. Of, of breakthrough and blessings between the Christian and Islam. And right, right. so I said, ma'am, can I ask you a question? I said, is that a, a prayer CD? She said, yes, it is. I said, oh, so you mean to tell me you're praying and working? She said, yes, yes, I am. I said, oh, that's amazing that Islam or watch this, uh, they can pray and work. Oh, uh, pray watch without this. ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Yes. But the body of Christ, we can't even pray when we ain't doing nothing. <laughs> uh, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. When was the last time you was praying and working at the same time? Amen. Or praying or cooking or praying or doing something, whatever it is that you do throughout the day. God says we need to learn how to master, watch this, more than what the world has. The world got the concept. We don't. Yeah. But we got the book that made the concept. Right. Wow. We, they found, they, they doing what we're supposed to be doing, yes. but they're reaping and we're not reaping. Yeah. Right. And we're not reaping because we got the guidelines, the manuscript, the laws. They are obeying them. We're just reading them. Right. <laughs> we are literally shouting over something that we're not practicing. Well, oh my God. I told the Lord, I said, God, take away my shout and open up my ears. All right. I know y'all, I know. I know y'all like that. I said, God, take away my shout for a second and open up my ears so I can hear. I, I need to know how to get to the blessed life. Yes, do it. Right. Nobody want to be struggling for the rest of their life. Amen. Struggling, pulling teeth to pay bills. 
<laughs> okay, I guess it's just no, you're right, you're right. Huh? I mean, I was up on, huh? Come on, struggling in the middle of the day, frustrated. Yes. No one is is so much in you that you will love to do full time. For for God. Yes. But it seems like you gotta serve mammon, the Bible call. Amen. It, it feels like, have you ever felt like, and I, I just wish I had about five, just 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 people who would keep it real. Have you ever felt like you were saved but in slavery? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, I'm talking about on your, where, where you clock in in your job and you pitch a little time clock in it or punch your numbers in or whatever. You feel like you're in slavery for a minute. It's not that you don't bless God for your job. It's just that you just say, God, one day, one day, yeah. one day, I, you will give me my heart's desire. God said, I already gave it to you. I'm just waiting for you to command it to exist. Yeah, yeah freedom. It's already on you. Yes. But you got to move it. Let me say this and be close. I want you to look at, look at verse 19. Look at verse 19. Same, same scripture, chapter 41, Isaiah 41, 19. You see that? It says, I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shinner tree, and the myrtle, and the old tree. I will set it in the desert, the fir tree, watch this, and the pine, and the box tree together. Yes. If you don't know what this is, these are all the trees that produce fruit and everything you need to survive. Amen. God says, so while you're in the desert, I'm going to turn your desert to a place, watch this, of wealth and wellness. Yeah, yeah. So what was looking like the desert is actually going to turn out to be the best place in your life. In other words, God's going to turn your desert to look almost like the promised land. Jesus. That's heavy. Yes, it is. Because you got to understand the desert and where you are. Yes. Let, let me say this. Let me say this. This this book contains this one. This one book contains sixty six other books. Right. Okay. Sixty six random books with multiple authors. True. That have the same revelation of how to live your life the best way possible and how to not be afraid to live it. Amen. And God says, here's your manuscript. All this is a manuscript of how to live your life. If you can read it, study it, and obey it, you will live the best life. Yes. Don't shout about something that you don't agree with. True. Amen. 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 Because agreement is an action word. Yes. Oh. It's not just a statement. Agreement. That's like love. Love is an action word. Don't tell me you love me. Don't show me. True. Ah, say it again. Amen. <laughs> if you love me, show me. I'd rather you not tell me and show me than to tell me and then don't show me. <laughs> Second name is a name, but love is an action word. Love is an action word. So the love of God means that you will show forth action. Yes. Let, let, let me say this. Let me say this. And, and, and you got to understand this. I want you to understand each and every one of you have a goal and a mission. Like, at least you ought to. Amen. And how, how many can honestly say, I'm not there yet where I need to be? But how many say, I, I promise I'm going to push this year? Yes. 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 Come on, you better give God a praise if you need to go push this year. Yes. Yes. Here's the story. Here's the story. Here's the remedy. Here's the remedy. The remedy is, the remedy is, he's trying to turn your destiny around. Yes. Hear yes. yes. me, people. He's trying to turn their destiny around. I'm, I'm not going to wait. No, no, I'm not going to wait for somebody to tell me who I am right. in God. Right. Right. You, you've, you've allowed people to say that for years. I mean, people just always come to me and always prophesy. Dictate. I don't know about anybody else. I was always, I was always like the... the mm -hmm. I just sense wealth. My, my. Oh, well, I do too. And I've been sensing it for the last 15 years. But nigga ain't got no money, dog. You know, tell me something new. Y'all, y'all have... Y'all gotta know how to... Y'all gotta be the lamb. Some of y'all haven't been a lamb, the same lamb yet. Some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. there's a calling on your life. Right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You don't, you don't see my bishop ring. You don't see all my saints. 
you know, you, you don't see all of them. You, you just, you know, God told me to tell you. No, he didn't. No, he didn't, tell, he didn't tell you to tell me. You just want to tell me because you are afraid of me. You want to rub it off. Right, right, right. <laughs> Watch out for false prophets. Amen. Because some people try to call you out because they're afraid of what you might become. Right. Amen. And so they try to put down what God is trying to spring, spring up and spring forth. He, they try to bring everything down. Well, God told me to tell you to wait. No, he didn't. That's a lie from hell. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I've been waiting for the last 15 years. How many know what I'm Come on, man. How many know what I'm telling you right now? I've been waiting for 20 years to get to this moment. Then you're going to tell me to wait still. Wait upon, then use the scripture, wait upon the Lord and he shall be me because right. my strength is gone. <laughs> my patience went with my strength. I ain't got it. <laughs> See, in this season, you, if you're going to pop out to me, you got to come correct, though. Yeah. I'm, you, right. I'm a pit bull now. I'm all, soon, soon, soon as somebody said, the Lord told me, <laughs> <laughs> I, I get my pit bull spirit. You know, you know, I'm like, <laughs> see when somebody come to my house all the time, I got false prophets coming, they come right through office, I don't know, you know, the, the Lord told me to give me a message, I'm saying, mm. you got to give him a look, <laughs> you ever go to my door with that? <laughs> he don't want to be, he or she don't want to be, right. and look like a real sweet kind of, and, you know, like, you know, you do a little thing. And that's how you and because you have to be on God. Amen. Because the devil is trying to take your identity. Yes. And so when God says, <laughs> I made you the head and not the tail above and not beneath, he's saying that's not just in the supernatural, but also in the natural. True. Some of y'all going back to school, Sister Marie. Amen. Uh, Ms. Vashai, going back. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, doing, getting promotions. This, this is a part of the, the, the moving, the mountain. Yes. I, I, I was saying when I was writing the sermon, I was saying that song. I know it's very common, but I was saying it. I've ever heard a song. Ain't, ain't no stopping us now. Yeah. You know, yeah. We're yeah. on the moon. Y'all yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know remember that? Yeah. That song was a revelation. Yeah. Some of y'all probably don't make help me. Yo. Huh? <laughs> 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 They ain't gonna tell you they still be rocking. <laughs> on Saturday. You, know, you, know, you gotta be on the move. Yes. This year, let me say, let me say this and we're gonna close a break. You gotta be on the move. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, get on the move. Get on the move. Tell your neighbor again, get on the move. Don't let people stop you because they walk in and out of your life. Amen. When folk walk out, let them say out. Because it's better for you to say out than keep giving me drama with that. True. Because the more drama I have in my life, the worse I become. Yes. And watch this. And when you walk out, maybe this time is God really trying to get you out because yeah. maybe God knows I don't have enough courage to get you out my own time. So God got to put you out on purpose. How many say amen? Y'all for good. So, 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 I'm moving. Yes. When, 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 I, when I was talking to the man of God, um, Mr. Branch and Reverend Branch, the guy who's putting our grants together. Right. They were talking to him. He said, what is your vision? I broke it down to him like a fraction. Uh-huh. I said, our vision is to take over this world. <laughs> take, take over. I was, I was, I was on my, God, I was on my pinky in the brain. I was, I was on my, my, my fine, I was on my finest excellent move. We take it over the world. Take over. Uh, uh, I, I was on my, and I said, we take it over this city, this community, we want to be used by God. We want to help people. We want to love on people. We want to show people there's a way. We want to employ people, give people jobs that may not have jobs, give them opportunities that may, they didn't. You know, just, we just want to lay out the red carpet as believers for the body of Christ and for the sinners to see yes. that our God reigns. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. That our God reigns. Yes, sir. Yes. And he's reigning through us. I love the scripture that says he's going to use us. Yes. To show his glory. Yes. <clears throat> my, my prayer is tonight that when you go home, that you will ask God to use you. Mm. Put you in places, in boardrooms all over the world. 
Why you sitting there talking to CEOs? Let them know. Listen, you, if you give me, you got sometimes you got to use your face. I don't know if y'all ever activate your face. You gotta learn how to lay hands on your on your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because your gift will make room for you. Amen. Lay hands on your body. In the name of Jesus, I command every door to open that has my name on it. Yes. And then and then be bold to put a time on it within four months. All right. <laughs> huh? Tomorrow, right, tomorrow. You, it, tomorrow this time. Ain't that what I just said? Yes. Tomorrow about this time. <laughs> you, you will have it. He said next year this time, you will have exactly what you've been praying for. Amen. I believe you can have what you pray for if you believe. That's right. If you believe. Only what you believe. believe. Only second. believe. By his one second. It's not a sad thing. I just want to pray for you tonight. I want to pray for you tonight that God would just enlarge your territory. Thank you, Lord. That God would enlarge your coast. Many of us tonight, the devil has been trying to play mind games with. He's been trying to play uh, over having some issues with. And God said, this is not the, the hour to be afraid. Amen. This is not the hour to give up. Just because people have given up on you, don't you give up on God. Just because people, places and things have been kind of uh, wild in your life doesn't mean that God doesn't have a master plan for your life. Sure. I know you could be stressed, you could be messed up in your mind, you could be down, you could be weary, but don't be weary in a season of reaping. Amen. This is a reaping season for the body of Christ, a reaping season. Yes. Because the Bible says what you've sown in tears, Have God's going to give you favor with. Every tear represents a door open. So if you was a cat. All the tears that ran out of your face in 2012, God says in 2013 is your reaping season. Thank you, Lord. Every depression you had in 2012 will be replaced by a breakthrough anointing in 2013. Yes. All doubt has to go, though. There can't be no doubt. Stop worrying. Well, I, I think that people did. Stop worrying about other people's opinions. Amen. And start focusing on what God has for you. Thank you, Lord. For you in your life. The hands bowed. I want you to talk to God for 30 seconds. Yes. I want you to tell God exactly what you need Him to do immediately. Tell Him what you need Him to do immediately. Look, look, I can't speak for you. I can't speak for you. I don't know what you need. That's between you and God. But take 30 seconds to express to God exactly what you need Him to do. God, I need you to open doors. God, I need you to open up my finances. God, I need you to heal my body, heal my leg, heal my lung, whatever. God, I need you to bring my family back to you. Bring structure back to my life. Help my heart not to be broken. Help me to get over the past and present, present uh, pains and situations. Help me to forgive. Hallelujah. Help me to learn how to forgive people who have done wrong to me. Help me to learn how to bite my tongue when people try to do evil to me. Help me to hold my yes, temper in check. Help me, help me on my job. Help me get the promotion even when people think I'm acting funny. Lord, let them know I'm not acting funny, but let them see you through me. Lord, let me be able to prophesy to the actions of people's lives and cause their lives to reevaluate and come back to action. Help me find a better way for this dying generation. Yes, Lord, please. Help me find it. Bless Help me find it. 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 I just want you to lift your hands right where you are. Come on. All over the building, right where you are. And I just want you to tell the Lord, Lord, I'm ready to be used oh. by you. I'm ready. Come on, just tell the Lord. Lord, I'm ready to be used by you. By any way, shape, or form. Yes, I don't Lord. care how yes. you do it. I just want to be used by you. I give myself to you today. Hallelujah. Tonight, I give you me. I yes. give you all of me. Yes. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. Thank none, you, none. I, just, just everything. I'm not holding back anything. I give you everything. Hallelujah. Everything. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Everything. In the name of Jesus. We command it to be done. I speak wealth over every believer in this room. Break through contracts. Break through contracts. For the upcoming CEOs, break through contracts. Break through anointing to manifest. For every hard worker, every person who has a job or looking for a job, God, that you won't just give them something to make ends meet. You will give them a career that will boom, that will bring them to even another tax bracket. Hallelujah.
in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. They will reach heights that no man can get the glory out of. They will go places where people have been afraid to go. They will talk to strangers all over the world. Yes. And speak to their lives. Father, help us as we grow in maturity not to get into depression. Hallelujah. Let us be stable. The enemy is firing darts, but let us be humble and stable. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 I want you to stand on your feet and give God a great big hand of praise. Come on, Lord, all over the place. Come on, Lord, all over the place. Come on, Lord, all over the place. Come on, do it all in one place. Come on. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Come on, we clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. We bless the Lord. I want you to hug somebody around you and tell somebody around you, say, you are moving forward this year. Come on, tell somebody. Go to somebody and tell them you're going to move forward this year. Come on, tell them you're going to move forward this year. Come on, tell them you're going to move forward this year. You're going to move forward. You're going to move forward. You're going to move forward this year. Doesn't matter what the devil says. Doesn't matter what people may say. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. No turning back. I'm moving forward. And for this, I give you praise. Come on, hug somebody. For every mountain. Come on. Sing it. You pour Come on, say, for every you pull me through. For every blessing, we sing it hallelujah. Come on, everybody, say, for this, for this. here at the Metroplex at 3501 Brims Lane, Baltimore, Maryland, 21213. We want you to be a part every Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Amen for high praise and worship and every single Tuesday night for Kingdom Building Bible Sunday at 7 p.m. And every Thursday night fire at 7 p.m. We want you to be a blessing. Come be with us. We thank God for all of you. Come on, guys. Let's thank God for all of our guests that are watching. They may not be here in the natural, but they're here in spirit and online. Amen. We thank God for them. Amen. Anybody else for the offering? Amen. Very quickly, very quickly. Don't forget on uh, Sunday, amen, you'll have 
please get please get one of these new generation ministries for upcoming events and uh, things that's happening. Get one. This is the only way you would know what's happening besides the minor uh, information that Ms. Wright shares as far as announcements. So please refer. She's going to be referring you constantly back here to this so you can get involved. Also on the back of this there's some notes. If you don't have paper, there's a section you can write down notes or whatever. And if you look on um, the top of this every month you'll see a statement uh, right here. Uh, and I'm not going to share it now. Just wait till Sunday. Oh, I'll go ahead and share. I know you want to share. All right, so it says the number eight. You know, we celebrate eight years of ministry. Amen? Yeah. The number eight means new begins. In order for you to move forward, you must free yourself from everything and everyone that could possibly lead you away yeah. from your life's assignment. Drive and go forward. Amen. So get a copy of this. I'm going to write a note. Every month there'll be something in here. Amen. And this Sunday is first fruit offering. A -a Amen. So bring your first fruit. First fruit of your uh, income, maybe of your raise, of your taxes. Uh, oh, this, that's your first fruit. Amen. So make sure you uh, be a blessing and, and, and doing that. How many say amen? Amen. And, amen. So uh, make sure you be a blessing. I'm, I'm sure Minister White will elaborate on that on uh, Sunday. A amen, a little bit of that. Amen. So be a blessing. Amen. Yeah. How many enjoyed yourself tonight? Amen. How many will leave here redeemed and changed and ready to move forward? Have a successful week. Tell your neighbors they need to have a successful week. In Jesus' name. Hold somebody's hand. Hold somebody's hand real quick, real quick. Father, we thank you tonight for your grace, your mercy, all of us said and done in this place tonight. We thank you for the viewers that are watching us from their uh, home television and and their uh, internet, God, we thank you for it. Bless us as we be dismissed from this place, never from your presence, till we meet again the next time on this Sunday for giving you. We say amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. We love you. God bless you. Well, the reality, my friend, is that God has just allowed you to come for the entire time into his presence. I'm sure you feel his presence moving right there where you are. I want to believe God for you today. The Bible says, if anybody, two or more, uh, touching and agree. Maybe you can put your hands to the screen, right, right, right where my hands are. And I want to believe that God is going to heal and deliver you and set you free from the things that have been holding you behind. I believe in God with you. Father, I believe that with your stripes, your sun stripes, we are healed. And I believe God for every person who's watching me right now. And God, meet their needs right where they are and give them their heart's desire in Jesus' name. Well, I gotta go, my time is up, but yours isn't. Meet me here at the Metroplex. I'm in the foyer, I'm gonna be waiting for you. 3501 Brims Lane, Baltimore, Maryland, 21213. Pick up your phone, call us, 410-483-6199. It's been an honor serving you. It's been an honor worshiping with you in this wonderful experience. Again, I'm your host, Bishop Charles S. Waters. Remember, what you say today will determine the future of your tomorrow. I'll see you next time.